Hey, we're back. I know it's been a while since we've done a video. All summer long we had one. I had COVID, so it's kind of out for a while, but we've taken the boat out a lot. And realistically, when you're out on having fun on these things, the last thing you want to do is pull out a camera and start making a video. So I'm trying to make more because I've picked up so many subscribers since my um, that video came out. The first one, which has over 100,000 views, we actually recorded on this lake on the other side of the island right there. And um, so I've been trying to get more content out, but like I said, like, uh, it's stuff happened. So today we came out here, and you can see there's a, obviously a, a, a forest fire. The Kalama fire is about five miles that way, which is why it's so smoky. The, here's one advantage of these things. The boat launch was closed, so we were able to pull off on the side of the highway. We found a small trail, and we just brought the lithium battery down, the box with the boat in it, and everything else, and just jumped in. So that's why there's not many boats out here either, just because the boat launch is closed. What happened was they wanted to keep people off the lakes in case they had to close the highway. They didn't want too many people back here, and they didn't do a very job of coordinating that. But anyway, so the real purpose of the video is to explain how we got a puncture in the bottom. There it is right there. You can see it's doing just fine now, but last time we were out here, we um, inflated the boat, used the electric pump mainly, and we were setting it up. So we, we put it halfway on the, um, on the shore and in the lake, and what happened was small twigs were sticking up you can kind of see some along here and what so we put the um, boat over those twigs on accident when we put the battery on the tote in and then the battery all that weight just forced that twig to go straight through and just punctured it we weren't aware of it immediately we got in we were thought we were heading out on the lake and all of a sudden we realized the bottom floor was flat bladders two and three were doing uh, were just fine and in fact we could have kept on going if but it would have been just uncomfortable the fact that the bottom one um, was flat out of air um, was made no difference at all as far as control went. So we steered right back to shore, got back there, flipped it over, and we immediately saw the half-inch gash on the bottom. So we, um, and if you don't keep those repair kits that come with the raft, definitely do so. There, put that side pocket on there that comes with it. Um, we so we pulled out the repair kit, the little sticker, round round sticker about that big, over the gash. You know, we cleaned it first put the sticker on there and um, let it sit for half an hour before um, inflating it again. We did that and we tested it. There was a small leak. We could see bubbles coming up from, um, you push it down, put some lake water on it and it looked great, but except for a small leak. So we thought, you know, we'll, we'll keep the hand pump available and every 15, 20 minutes, whatever, we'll just top it off. We get on the lake and um, I'll put some footage right here. You gotta see how choppy it was. The patch was going against that choppy water and it held up just fine. In fact, it didn't leak at all. I'm assuming that maybe the, um, the patch was pushing against the water and that gave it, gave it an even better seal than what we were testing it with. So we, um, we uh, went for a while and the choppy water pulled off and we looked at the patch. We pulled off on a small beach and the patch was, it was coming up a little bit um, because sand was getting underneath the, the rim of the patch, but it was no big deal. We could have stayed all weekend long on that one patch, but for, just to be safe, we put another one on top of it and it was fine. We got back, went home, and I ended up getting um, a, a repair kit from Airhead. It was a good quality one, came with glue, wasn't a sticker. So I'll put some inf um, information right here about um, what it looked like. Very easy to do. You just put, get a, I got a paintbrush, painted the glue on, stuck it on there, and then I got a rock or something and put it over the patch to weigh it down. Left it like that for 24 hours, and it's perfect. Look at that. We've been out here all day with it, and absolutely no air loss in it at all. And I would do want to stress, we've been using these out here in this area for eight years, since 2014, and never once had a puncture. As I said in some past videos, we've um, dragged across small boulders, we've dragged it across sand like this, fully loaded, and never had any issues. So it's not bad. And when we did have an issue, we just used the puncture kit repair, repair kit that came with it, and no issues. So if you are ever concerned about getting a puncture, there is, it's really it's, it's going to be more of an inconvenience than a, a life-threatening issue. And plus, speaking on that, you're not going to get a puncture on the middle of the lake. There's no, no way, unless there's maybe a lock floating out there that you don't see and you just brush up against it and it has a, a small branch sticking out, maybe then. But even if you did lose your um, outside bladder, the other two remaining would probably be good enough to get you to shore. So the biggest issue with these is punctures, of course. And it turns out it's not a big deal at all. After eight years of using these, we finally got one, and it was it was just an inconvenience. But um, to to stress again, the, these boats, 
no one else is out here. Look, there's a few boats out here because they got here before they closed it off. We were able just to pull off, off on the side of the highway and get it out here. So another major advantage is you can have the whole entire lake to yourself. And I'm sure there's a forest fire to get it, but um, for us, it's kind of a nice day. Um, and one other quick note while I have your attention. Definitely looking into getting lithium ion battery. Uh, we do use a Battleborn. We found one on Amazon um, that is much cheaper. It's a lithium battery. But I, if you're looking for it for cheap, I would recommend this battery. But the Battleborns have onboard computers that um, protect it. So electric graphs are uh, definitely worth it. Keep that in mind. And um, keep the questions coming too. I'm always happy to answer in the comment section if you have um, any concerns or anything. But that's it for now. We're going to get back to boating and um, follow us on Instagram too.